what's going on guys so in this video i'm just going to do a quick little run through of how i create my youtube thumbnails with a software called krita k-r-i-t-a i'll drop a link in the description where you can uh download this particular software as well it's been super helpful for me uh when you download it you're going to come to this screen here you can either go to new file or open file uh, I'm going to be working on a uh, project that I've already started. So we're going to go ahead and select that. And there's my pretty face. So over here on the right hand side, you have three layers. You have the layer with my picture. You have the bottom layer here. And you have the background layer. We're going to be working on this second layer here. So what I'll do is I'll come down here in this section here to the paint brushes. We're going to select the airbrush tool. Uh, we're going to select the color black. Make sure that our brush tool over here, the freehand brush tool is selected. And our cursor shows the size of the actual brush. So we'll come up here to size right here. And we're going to increase that around here. Give us a nice size so we can paint this background fairly quickly. And this little option here is your opacity. We'll leave that as is. And we're just going to paint probably half of the screen this black color. It actually looks a little brown. Let's see, I can go a little darker. But yeah, that it was like a little brownish, and that that doesn't look bad at all. And now, with that dark background, you're able to notice these imperfections that are here much easily much easier i'd say right here on my hair where i cut this picture from you're able to see some of the rigid edges you're able to see some of that white background that was peeking through but what we're going to do you want to come over here to the left hand side to the color selection tool we're going to click that and we're going to zoom in and we're going to select any color or portion of this area here that we would like to mask over this. I'm going to pick this color here, this black color. And then I'm going to select my tool, which is the airbrush tool. And I want to make sure that I'm working on the proper layer. So earlier we started on the second layer. We're going to click the top layer, which is my picture. And that's what we want to work on. Come back over here to the left side, collect the freehand brush tool. And now we can work and cover this area with whatever color you may want to cover that blemish up with. And it matches the color of what's going on back there pretty well. Uh, we'll decrease that size just a little bit. And just cover up some of those white areas. Cover up some of that. Come up here. Try to catch a few of these little areas as well. This works a lot easier since we're using a black background for this portion of the of this photo. But if we were using a different color, that's another method that I normally use. Is like I'll kind of blur or I'll smooth out some edges and stuff like that to make it uh, look a bit pleasing more, more a little bit more pleasing to the eye and that's not too bad it kind of covers up and helps me out with some of those areas that were over there so we're going to keep that tool we're going to increase this size here we're going to come back to the previous layer that we we're working on and we're going to select royal blue increase this uh size here to cover it a little quicker We have somewhat of like a black and blue background here, which is cool. So I want to soften these edges on these, uh, this little two-tone edge here. I'm going to come over here to my brush selector menu over here. And we're going to come down and select this tool here, which is the blender blur tool. And there could be better ways to doing this, but this is just my method. And I'm just going to click immediately click and just kind of soften some of these edges 
you can drag from the black side to the blue bring that over or you can drag from the blue over to the black and bring that over however you want to do it just blending and softening these edges you can create somewhat of like an abstract sort of feel back there you know get a little creative with it if you want and it's nice i like the i like the way that that looks so now we've added a little bit of dimension to the background nice little feel and everything for that what we're going to do is we're going to click the eye icon which basically turns off that layer we're going to turn off all those layers and we're going to come up here to this top section where it says layer click that come down to import export and we're going to go over to import layer i'm coming to my download section and this is a photo that i downloaded of Roja dove elysium this is the photo that i want to work on today so we want to transform this and move this around and resize it and all that so we're going to hold control and press t I can resize this however I need to. And all the other layers are off, so as I'm moving and doing things, it's not gonna affect those. So, you can come here to the continuous selection tool over in our left-hand corner, and you can select that. And so say for instance, if I select this white portion, it'll select everything in that photo with white in it, and you can just delete that. Instead of us doing it that way, we're going to go and use more of a, a detailed method. This is the Bezier curve selection tool. And with this bottle being so rigid and square, it'll be kind of easy to do. So what I'll do is I'll come here and you'll click. It's going to create a point and you're going to move your cursor to whatever next point you want to click. And you're going to do this until you pretty much have the entire contour of this bottle selected. So we'll click here. We'll come up here. We can zoom in to get more of a better visual. We'll click there and then it'll create a point each time. Click there, zoom out. Come over here and kind of scroll up so we can see where we're going. Come here. Come up on the bottom of the neck. And it doesn't have to be super perfect, but I definitely want to get a good idea of the bottle and the majority of the contour of the bottle down here from there like there here here we're gonna zoom out zoom back in so we can see what we're doing come down that way we'll come back across and we are nearly done now it selected the entire bottle but we don't want to delete the bottle we want to delete everything else around it we're going to hold control shift and press I that's going to invert the selection that we just made. So everything that's outside of that bottle, it deletes. We're going to press delete. And now you have it. Now we're going to scroll out. Get a good visual of our layers here, and we're going to turn all those layers back on. Now you see you still have that selector uh, outline going on on the outside of that bottle. To get rid of that, you wanna hold control shift and press A. And we're gonna make sure we're selected on the bottle layer over here. And we're gonna do control and T to transform. So now we can move this around and look at how beautiful and just plush that looks. Now you can tilt it, we can resize it, we can make it smaller, thinner. Move it where we need. I typically move these styles bottles uh, right behind my shoulder. So as you can see over here, I have that layer right under mine. Since I'm working on it, it's showing like it's above my shoulder. Once I click a different layer, it'll adjust and you can see that it's behind me. And I love the way, I love the way that looks. I'm gonna reselect that and we're gonna tilt this over this way a bit more. And that should be good. I like that what i've been doing lately to add more of a dramatic effect to the bottle and just the picture overall is i'll create a layer and i'll put that layer oh you create a layer by coming here to this little plus sign once you click it it'll just update a new fresh layer for you you can press and drag these layers wherever you want them if i wanted to go under my picture layer here i can do that if i wanted to go under the bottle layer i can do that 
so on and so forth. Right where we have it under the bottle is where we want it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down to my texture section over here. And I'm gonna select this little blotch here, it's texture big. And I'm gonna find maybe a lighter color blue to add some texture right behind that bottle. I'm gonna come over here to the freehand brush tool and you see my cursor changed them dramatically. This is gonna be pretty much the texture that it leaves. So we're gonna click right behind this bottle and just get like an idea of how that texture gonna look. It creates like this smoky sort of effect to me. And we're just lightly gonna click and select so they can create like a little bit of a, you know, a little texture right behind that bottle, making it just so much more dramatic. Like a different color, you can play around with some of the colors there. That one isn't necessarily that good, so I'm gonna leave that one off. <laughs> well, maybe this dark blue maybe look good though. Look at that. It's kind of creating just a little bit of a uh, bit of feeling to it, a little bit of movement. I'll come back with that lighter color. I think that might do it. So what I would also like to do is I would like to create like somewhat of a splash effect. So we'll come with white, keep that size there. And I'm gonna come from here to about here. So we'll do that in one swoop. Or well, two, sorry about that. <laughs> All right, so we got that little effect there. Adds like a little bit like a splash kind of deal. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the actual bottle layer and I'm going to decrease the size just a little bit. And I'm going to do another from here on top of the bottle. Let's try that one more time. I'm going to resize it. Perfect. I just wanted just a little bit to splash right on top of that bottle. Not a whole lot. And that's pretty much your thumbnail now you can go in and add text come over here to the left hand corner select the text tool and you can just add whatever text you want i'm gonna just do roja dove because for some reason if i <laughs> keep spelling elysium and if i hit the m it's gonna switch my camera i have my hotkeys activated and i need to turn those off but uh, you can change your font I usually do the Bobby one. Oh, I didn't select at that time. Bobby one, 18 white, old. And again, if you want to transform something and change the size, control T. And you can adjust this and move this, make this whatever size you may need it to be. And there you go. Now, sometimes what I'll do is I'll take the text and I'll slide it down just a little bit. Pull this up. So now the letters are right above my head and I'll take it just below my layer. To give it like a little bit of depth, judgment and depth and stuff like that. And there you have it. That's how I make my thumbnails for my videos. My thumbnails for the longest were pretty cheesy and pretty lame. And so I've been working on trying to make them a little better. And this is just a quick little run through of how I do mine. Uh, like, comment, share, subscribe. And if you guys like to see more content like this, just let me know in the comment section and I will see you guys soon. Peace.